Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GRVY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this may look like several days worth of time right there, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. This one was just an absolute monster today. I mean, to think that yesterday it was down here below $5 and then, you know, it gapped up. And then, you know, again, each of these represents 30 minutes. So the first three 30 minute sessions were just very, very powerful. Yeah, the price did pull back, but you know, from a, a broad scope of things, the bull still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. So we'll see if this is the start of something bigger or if this is just kind of a, a knee jerk reaction type move. Uh, but let's map out some levels of support and resistance. The ideal level of support going into next week, meaning, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? If the price can stay up above $9, that would make the chart look very, very healthy and just be a good sign of overall strength for the chart. Now, if the price doesn't hold above it, I'm not saying that everything's ruined or anything like that, but $9 would certainly make it look the most uh, powerful you know, throughout next week. In the event $9 cannot hold, next level of support to keep an eye on, down, oh, that makes it easy, down there at $8. From definitely a, a, a broad scope of things, you know, the big picture, Keep an eye on the purple line right there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. I fully realize right now it's totally irrelevant given it's way down there and the price is up there, but keyword there being moving average. So as time goes by, that level is gonna move its way upwards and get more and more relevant. But as far as near-term relevant levels, $9 and $8, two levels of support. Now, what about levels of resistance? So if the price is gonna get up here to this $12 region again uh, and, and do some battle, where are some of these hurdles at that the bulls are gonna have to fight through? First level, I kind of already gave that away, is always a, what I like to call the fun level. And the fun level is just you know right up there around the highs because it's always fun to talk about retesting highs, breaking new highs and all that. So that's right up there around the, the $12, $12.25 cent area, right around there. But in many cases, there's other bridges that first need to be crossed before you, you, know, you talk about the quote unquote fun level of resistance. And in my mind, that initial bridge that needs to be crossed for the price is right down here at that level and that sits at $10.50. So yes, yeah, certainly up here, this is you know technically a level of resistance. But before we start you know going through all the, the, the fun chatter, first gotta show some signs of strength and cross you know that initial bridge. And in my mind, 1050 is that first bridge. But anyway, uh anyway you slice it, today was a very, very entertaining day, a, a very powerful day. So it'll be interesting to see how this all unfolds next week and to see if the bulls can build upon the momentum that they established today. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interest in and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.